Thank you for coming by and watching this video. If you enjoy this video or feel you've benefited from it, consider going to patreon.com forward slash newbiehack and support these efforts. You'll have access to 20 of my latest videos that hasn't been published on YouTube yet. Okay, so we're going to apply two operators here, a not, an and and a not, and an or. The and and a not for the, for the zero. So let's go ahead and do that one first. And equals not. I'm going to put it in parentheses just to make it a little bit more readable and contain it. One left shift. And we're working with the pin number here. This is what we're given. So we'll start with the pin number. And we multiply that by two. And we add a one. For the next one. We're going to use an OR bitwise operation, and we're not going to add a 1 to it because we're not looking at the second position. We can do the same thing with the speed register because that's also a 32-bit number. So I'm just going to do a copy and paste here for the speed. This is where the information using the left shift and all the detail that I've given in the AVR series of microcontrollers and programming. This is where this stuff comes in really handy. So if the left shift and the bitwise operations and all that stuff really confuse you and you're not understanding it, I highly recommend going back to the AVR series and checking out those vid videos. Because really you're doing exactly the same thing. All we're doing is manipulating numbers within registers. It's just like going to a large control panel and just switching switches. The ones that we need to use at the moment. So in this case, we're just doing the oring on both of them. Because we need a 1 and a 1 in both positions. Since we needed a 0 in the other position, we needed to do an AND and a NOT. For the type register, we're going to be doing the AND and NOT. Now let's just rewrite it. Port, the O type, output type, is going to be an AND equals not, because we want a zero in that position. We'll use the, the left shift bitwise operation, and we're gonna be using the pin number straight. So we're finished with the type, and the, the pull up, pull down looks like it's the same thing. So we'll just do a copy and paste, PUPD register. I'm gonna put a space here so I can read it. To execute all of this, we're gonna have to use it in the main part of the program. And for the port, we're going to do the same thing as we did over here. So the LCD D0 port, we'll start with that one. And the LCD D0 pin. So now we're setting, we're setting the port and pin for output for the D0 port and the D0 pin. Very simple. We'll do that for all of them, all eight. And we'll just replace these with the appropriate number. 0 through 7. We'll do that to the pins. Just as an aside, in this case, we have two lines. We can just put it into one line just by separating it with another OR. Because they're the same operation. They're both ORs. Okay, so we have all of our pins set. We can actually remove these, but I don't want to get rid of them yet just because in case this program doesn't work, I can use this for debugging. So I'm just going to comment out these for now. So on to the scary and nerve-wracking part. Let's see if this works. We did a lot of programming here. It doesn't seem like a lot of programming, but we did a lot of, we, we made a lot of changes. I generally like to do very incremental and small changes, but we actually put all this into a function in this code session, and we are setting the port and pin for output. So we're doing two different things. I should have probably tested after putting this into a function, even though this is very, very simple. I probably should have tested anyway, but I didn't. So let's take a look and see if it works. 
I'm going to go ahead and build. Let's see if we have any build errors first. Okay, we do have an error, so let's take a look and see what we have. And this is really good. It's catching us on some math, simple math computation errors. Because if I did a pin number multiplied by 2, I would get, uh, say, if I started with 15, I would get 30. And then I added 1, and I would get a 31. But if I did 2 plus 1 first, which is 3, 15 times 3 is definitely not 31. That would be 45. So it's asking us to actually contain whatever I need to contain. It's actually saying to contain the parentheses around the plus, but I would rather actually contain this. So it's it does this first or separately than the plus one, the two plus one. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna do it on all the instances where we're doing mathematical computations within a left shift. So we're gonna contain this portion. Let's see if we only need to do that. It might ask us to contain the entire thing as well. I'm not going to contain this because this order of operations would be fine. Let's go ahead and build and see what it says. It's still saying to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and contain all of it. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, we have no warnings. That's good. And the build is successful. So let's go ahead and program the microcontroller and see if we still have the letter A outputting to our pins. And then we'll try another letter, which is very simple. We'll try B or something else and see if we still get the result that we expect. The microcontroller has been programmed and you can see that the correct pins have been output as ones and zeros. You got the one and then the five zeros, a one and then a zero. Let's go ahead and replace that A with a B and see what happens. Okay, so let's take this and put a B here. Program it or build it and program. Okay, the microcontroller has been programmed and you can see that the these two pins changed because the lowest bits, the first two bits in a change from a B to an A is going, only going to change from this being a one to this being a one because that would be two. This would be one and then putting a one in this position would be a two. A three would be both of these lit up. So a C should cause both of these LEDs to light up. So let's try that. Let's change this B to a C compile it and flash the microcontroller and it looks like we got exactly what we expected as these both lighting up to equal a three this one is of, of course going to stay the same unless we went way higher up in the in the ASCII code I think at this point it's probably safe to go ahead and get rid of this I can delete that since I know that the program is working in the next video, we'll start to put this into another header file because there's a lot of code here. It's not that much, but it's enough to make us want to keep everything really simple. Uh, this will probably go into an initialization function and all of this will be put into the header file and also all of the defines. And we'll, we'll create a header file that is called like LCD functions or something like that. So hopefully you'll stay tuned and watch that video. Thank you very much.